Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya Singh and I am your host for the next two days, ladies and gentlemen. And I extend a very hearty welcome to all of you to PMS AIF World's third annual summit and awards 2022. The title of this well thought out event is Crystal Gazing Markets and Economy for Richer, Happier and Wiser Investors. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you a little about myself. I have been a live show presenter and host for the last 13 years. The stage always beckons me and it has always been immensely gratifying to deliver meaningful content to my audiences. But like everybody's life, 2020 changed it all for my profession. My world became virtual and the only way forward was to embrace this change. And you know what? What a privilege it is for me to be hosting this very significant virtual event. PMSAF World is an alternate focused new age investment services company that provides content and analytics backed quality investing services by distributing well analyzed PMS and AIF products and offering investment services along with in depth information for investors to make informed decisions, not just before investing, but throughout the wealth creation journey. PMS AIF World analyzes PMS and AIF products across the five P's, people, philosophy, performance, portfolio, price, with an endeavor to ascertain the quality, risk, and consistency, which is QRC attributes, before offering the same to the investors. Ladies and gentlemen, PMS AIF World has been an original thinker in the space of India's alternates and its growth in a short period speaks for itself. Today, it serves 400 plus UHNI and NRI families across 25 cities and seven countries. Now, this particular event, which is very, very important, has 11 partner associations. And I would like to thank and highlight these before we begin. Our title partner is Quest Investment Advisors, Gold Partners, Access Asset Management, IIFL Asset Management, Narnolia Financial Services, Tata Asset Management and White Oak Capital Management. And our silver partners are Carlenial Asset Advisors, Edelweiss Asset Management, ITAS Capital, Kotak Mahindra Asset Management, and Sundaram Alternates. Now, for this investment summit and awards, PMSAF World has got on board 30 plus portfolio managers in India to give answers to all realistic questions of investors. This event will cover 12 meaningful sessions spread across today and tomorrow, which means the 11th and 12th of February, 2022. Now, that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. You have a lot to experience with us as this is going to be a 3D event with various dedicated areas for you to explore, like the auditorium, exhibition hall, with 11 associate partner stalls, networking lounge, three different breakout rooms, and many more. Now, I think without gilding the lily any further, and no more delay, I'd like to invite Mr. Kamal Manocha, founder and CEO of PMS AF World, who's going to share a few words with us and, of course, express his greetings and deliver the welcome note. Mr. Mr. Manocha, it is now over to you. Hello, everyone. A warm welcome to all of you. Like every time in the past, this time too, we have planned this event really well. We started off in 2020 with a thought of crystal gazing next decade of wealth creation for investors. And we continued that thought in 2021 in trying to identify that how wealth creation opportunities have actually changed in the post pandemic world. Both these events were grand success. We have had good amount of learnings from these two events and we move ahead with this third event. And this time when we are trying to conceptualize the topic for this event, we see that India's economic growth is actually visible and earnings, corporate earnings, which we have been talking about for last one decade are actually, you know, visible. And hence we see a lot of wealth creation opportunities coming, you know, forward. And that is where we have named this event as richer, happier and wiser investors, because as the wealth creation opportunities will come forward, our aim is not just richer investors, but happier as well as wiser investors too. You know, wealth without happiness has little meaning. And at the same time, wisdom without wealth has little meaning too. 
So that is where not just richer investors, but richer, wiser and happier investors. We have really planned this event well, as I said, and we have 12 meaningful sessions, starting off with trying to identify that what sectors are going to lead the next bull run. Every time, in every bull run, we have seen a particular sector leads that bull run, like it was 2003 to 2008, where infrastructure as a sector led that bull run. And then in 2009 to 12, it was pharma that led that bull run. And then in the last decade, we have seen financial services and consumer businesses leading the bull run. So what is it that we will see over the next three to five years as a sector that will be leading sector in the next bull run? It's the very first session that we have planned for you. Very interesting session, I must tell you. And then after that, we will try and deep dive that whether despite high valuations of defensives and consumer businesses, will they continue to keep doing well or will they be taken over by cyclicals and industrials? which you know are considered to be a beaten down sector and then after that we will try and identify what are the new DNAs of the next multi-baggers. There are many investors out here who try and find out what are the new multi-baggers in the next decade. So we'll try and find out what are the traits of multi-baggers and how to identify the next you know uh, names or sectors from where we will see uh, names coming out of in multi-baggers and then we will have session to try and understand how the composition of NSC 500 is expected to change over next five years. We have been talking about India's economy moving ahead from 3 trillion to 5 trillion, which we also firmly believe in. But when India's economy will add, you know, two more trillions, how will that get bifurcated? Today we know that it is concentrated amongst top, top, end of the uh, you know NSC 500 but will that get spread out or you know this addition of two trillions will remain concentrated at top end and then what sectors would lead we know that you know, financial services used to be the top top notch sector in US today it's a fourth leading sector and today in Indian context also financial services is the leading sector and with 30 percentage 30 30 percent as an allocation and then second sector is IT with 13 percent as allocation and then you know there are sectors like consumer goods and pharma so how is this composition going to actually change over next three to five years as india will add two more trillion almost 80 percent to its gdp very very interesting session and i must tell you this is the foremost question if this gets answered we'll get a lot of answers and then we have you know on day two sessions which are on trying to find out whether one should invest in long short funds or what are the benefits of investing in long short funds? What is the place of long short funds in one's portfolio? Then let me tell you a session which everybody today talks about, which is kind of ed tech, fintech, as well as consumer tech businesses. How are they valued today? How should they be valued? What is the right valuation? And what are those business models which will, which will actually survive? This is the session which will be covered, you know, on Saturday, which is day two. And then, you know, we have another very interesting session where we know that today it is very difficult for one to hold on to one's winning stock in one's portfolio. But this is the determinant of the returns of a portfolio of a fund manager or a good fund manager is able to actually hold on to one's winning stocks versus maybe a common investor who is unable to do that. How is a fund manager able to keep so much conviction? And finally, what is the midas touch of fund managers that actually investors Kind of look forward to a warm welcome to all of you once again and i thank you my team for having contributed and done so much hard work that we have come to this day thank you back to you ashwarya thank you